Hey guys, it's Shale Okimi and welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for this video today because we'll be installing a V-part wig. This long body wave V part wig. So, this hair is from Eunice Hair. I like V parts or U parts because they're kind of like removable sew ins and very natural looking install without actually having to sew each weft. The thing about V parts specifically versus U parts is that they allow you to have very minimal leave outs, which is perfect for me that I am natural. The way they construct V parts is they make it to where the opening at the top is literally just essentially a lace closure that they cut open so that instead of you having to use your leave out to cover an entire track all you have to do is cover that lace and because of that you're able to leave out a very very tiny amount of leave out which i will show you so that's why i really enjoy having something like this so this is the hair straight out of the box it was as you can see lighter than my hair color so i went ahead and dyed it lightly just to better match my hair color so i went in with i'll link the specific dye linked down below but i didn't dye the entire hair i just kind of streaked the dye into the top of the v part wig to kind of give it like darker highlights or low lights so that it would more seamlessly match my hair and that ended up working perfectly it was able to match my hair after doing that so once i was done doing that and i shampooed and conditioned the hair i went ahead and proceeded to put on the v part so underneath i just have flat twists under my hair i've been really loving flat twists honestly it's been really great for my natural hair but yeah and then i put the v part on another thing with wigs in general i don't really like using clips in my hair i just find that they put tension on my hair so i went ahead and unsewed all of the clips it comes with all the clips that you see here but i went ahead and unsewed all of them they're easy to remove all you have to do is remove the stitching and it doesn't mess up the wig or anything and i just use scissors to unstitch them and this is what the wig looked like after i remove all of the clips and so i either if i know i'm going to be wearing it for a long time i'll just sew it on like i'll sew around the perimeter of the wig and sew it down along the braids that are along the perimeter of my head but because i was only going to wear this for a short time just for that day i bobby pinned it down so instead of using the clips if you are similar and you have issues with clips you can either sew it down if you're doing it for a long-term use or you can just bobby pin it in place and i find that bobby pins work perfectly for me and to prepare my leave outs for all of this first i went ahead and re-wet it because i'm going to blow dry it first before i flat iron it blow drying it first allows me to not have to use as much heat to get my hair straight with the flat iron so I rewet my hair first and before I go in with the blow dryer I use two products I use the color wow and a heat protectant so now I don't know if you've ever heard of the color wow I found it I saw it from another youtuber I'll definitely link her down she was the person that introduced this to me but essentially it allows your hair to stay straight for longer and not puff up from humidity it just makes it to where it's more humidity resistant it kind of went viral on TikTok you're supposed to apply it before you blow dry your hair until onto wet hair so that's what i went ahead and did and then i blow dried my hair to blow dry my hair all i do is use a brush and brush through my hair and follow the blow dryer down my hair and i just pass it through once slowly until my hair is dry And then after I did that, I went ahead and proceeded to flat iron my hair. So I just split my hair in half and then I literally just flat iron like four sections. As you can see, this small piece is all that I'm going to use to cover one side of my hair. And all I did was flat iron my hair with one pass. And as you can see how that very thin piece of leave out is enough to easily cover the lace and blends in so well. I'm flattening my hair using the chase method where you first put a small tooth comb through your hair and then follow it through with the flat iron. That's what will allow you to get the sleekest flat iron. And I only pass through my hair once at 330 degrees. That's the exact heat. I've tested this with my natural hair. That's the smallest level of degrees that I can use to get my hair super straight if i do it anything less like if i do 270 it'll get straight but then it'll puff back up within like a minute so you just kind of have to test it based on your hair on how coarse it is how hot the flat iron needs to be now as you can see it matches the texture of this hair very very well because there is very little of my hair left out it's easier to blend you can't tell like where my natural hair stops versus where this hair is like my leave out blends in so well which i like i also really like body wave hair because even though it is 
not necessarily my hair texture it's still kind of frizzy in a way and it has some texture to it so it matches well with my hair still as long as i flat iron my hair and even when my hair frizzes up a little bit it still matches pretty well but yeah that is how i do my faux sew-ins as i like to call them my method of using v-part wigs to create a natural sew-in like look without having to do the whole sew-in process they're just like making things better and better and better i really like the invention of v-parts you're able to use a lot less leave out by not having to cover up a full track just covering up that lace um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really like the way it turned out and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.